Hi everyone, welcome to Outdoor Bound TV. I'm Kurt Walbeck. You know, walleyes is a favorite species for many anglers to chase across the Midwest and Canada. And as far as table fare goes, well, it ranks right up at the top. Now, I love to fish for walleyes in the spring, but when we get to the middle of the summer, it seems like these fish just disappear. On this week's show, we head to a very popular walleye destination, Devil's Lake, North Dakota. Now, we're going to meet up with our friend and tournament angler, Mike Leonard Doozy. So we pose the question to Mike, how do you find midsummer walleyes? Well, he takes us out on the boat and shows us some of his techniques for finding these fish in the dog days of summer. There we go. It's a pretty good fish. Need a net job up there? Ah, uh, sure. Oh, that's a nice fish. Really good fish. Look at that. There you go. First one in the boat? Yeah. Pretty decent one. That's a beautiful fish. Look at that. Slip bobber for walleye. Slip bobber and eyes. See, but look at just barely in the top of the yeah, look at roof that. of the mall. Right there. So that's nice. a nice fish. Beautiful fish. Devil's Lake walleye. Awesome. First one of the morning. Awesome. Yeah. Great. Great fish. Yeah. Nice job, right. Mike. Get him back. <laughs> All right. Finally. Good. That's a great fish. Yeah, finally got on a nice one there. <laughs> awesome. Good morning, everyone. We're here in Devil's Lake, North Dakota. We're with our buddy, Mike Leonard Doozy, tournament angler here, and we're out chasing walleyes today, aren't we? Yes, we are. So tell yeah. us a little bit about what we'll do to, to find some of these Devil's Lake walleyes. Well, we started out pitching right away this morning, and they just didn't seem to want to go with that aggressive bite, a little more aggressive bite, so we came out to a bobber spot and didn't take long to get on a, a good fish there, probably a 23, 24-inch fish. Yeah, really solid fish. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about how do you set up, when you say bobber fishing, we're obviously using slip bobbers. Tell us a little bit about how you rig that. I use a real heavy line as my baseline. Uh, I go down to a, a barrel swivel with 10 pound fluorocarbon and I run a small white 3 8 ounce jig. Okay. Yep. Usually these fish are in schools and uh, that's why I'm trying to get back out and get a bunch of them in the boat here today. All right, awesome. So, hey, right. thanks, look yeah. forward to it. Awesome. There, there he is. Nice. Netter. Doesn't feel like a real big fish, but. No. A fish nonetheless. Oh. All right. Now this guy, interestingly enough, look at that, has a hook right out of his beak. My jig is in his mouth. Now, people ask all the time, do fish bite with that hook in their mouth? Look at that. He bit that jig with a leech on it, and he's got a big old hook just buried in the top of his mouth. <laughs> we'll get that out of him and get him back. We're definitely going to do him a favor. All right, we'll get this guy back. Feel like a jumbo, but oh. nice eater walleye. Kind of our 
typical eater walleye here. Not a real big fish, but I don't believe. <laughs> he doesn't feel like a monster, Mike, but he'll be another one in the eat category, I think. Yeah, nothing wrong with that fish. Look at that. We'll sling him right in that way. <laughs> a little Devil's Lake gold right there. Look at that. Right at sunset tonight. Got these just set up on slip bobber rigs with just a leech. It's a small little jig with a leech, and these guys are ready to feed. Well, as it happens sometimes here in Devil's Lake, the wind has come up, so we've moved off the main lake. Now, before we did that, we actually changed from throwing crankbaits to slip bobbers. So now we've moved into one of the smaller bays, and we're gonna switch techniques once again. Now we're going with bottom bouncers. So we're gonna see if we can pick up some eater fish on the bottom bouncers. Just put that one down there. Need a nut job on her? You're right. No, no. I don't think so, but. Oh, Perfect eater. Good eater fish. 17 inch fish. Look at that, right in the beak. Yeah. Turn the live well on for a reason. That's right. There you go. So maybe talk a little bit when you're pulling rigs here, what do you like to do? Is there a certain cadence, certain mile an hour? How do you, here on Devil's Lake, what do you like to do? I like to stay anywhere from 0.7 to one mile an hour. Okay. Um, keep it slow, keep it easy, keep it simple with just the, uh, I use a quick change rig with a slow slow death type hook on a leech. Sometimes we'll go crawler, sometimes mm -hmm. they get a little finicky. Yep. But that's a real typical fish when people are out eating, going for eater fish. Perfect. You know, that 15 to 17 inch fish, and I'll leave, we tried them last night, we'll have them all day long, I'll awesome. take them. Every day. I'll eat them. All right. <laughs> Good. There's some fish now in here, isn't there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, we just went through and we saw some fish on the graph. And we've got side imaging going and we just picked up a few that we noticed. and. I got one hit right away. All right, not a bad fish. Looks like a good eater fish. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Perfect eater fish. Yeah. <laughs> That's going to be dinner, won't it? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, we're almost to the, to the point where we'll have enough for Zach to eat. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, right in the, just the top of the mouth. And all we're doing is we're just using a slow death hook pulling a rig just behind bottom bouncers with a with just a regular leech and producing some results. There's more down there, so we're gonna get down, see if we can get some more of these fish here. There we go. Got hooked up there? Yep, that one's hooked up. Feels like another dinner. Does it? Another fish. Your fish? Coop, thanks for coming back, getting us hooked up. <laughs> Good luck, Charlie. Yeah. Well, as you can tell, we've changed methods a little bit. Before we were doing a lot of pitching and throwing some crankbaits. Now the wind has come up, and we've got the bottom bouncers out, and we've got some harnesses. And yeah, it looks like you have another eater fish. Fantastic. Pretty simple rig. And it produces slow death. Yeah. Perfect. Now what is, is there any slot limit here on Devil's Lake and, and what is the limit of fish you can keep? Five walleyes, any size. And possession limit is two times your uh, daily bag limit. No kidding. Bring those home. Perfect eater fish. We're 
we're catching a lot bigger fish when we can get out to our spots that we want to catch some bigger fish or we, we know there's bigger fish. It's just been a kind of a, a wind couple of days. We can't get yep. to where we like, like to go right now. So that's but perfect. Though. I'll take these for dinner tonight. I'll eat every That'll day. That'll be great. That'll be great. They're awesome. Oh yeah, I feel them. Try to keep like them out one? of that other one. No, hey. yeah, not bad. Nice eater fish. You bet. I'm gonna do the yeah. sling there. Oh, we had some activity on that side on both sides. And that's we? your new bait. That's right. This is a spinner that we're using from PK Lures. First time using it today, and um, we actually instead of oh, a. There we go. Oh, that one got, just got oh, smoked. It got hammered. It's like he hit that board a ton, huh? Yeah, he he smoked that board. It looked like a real one for us. Well, I'm going to put that one in. We'll eat that. You know, this is one of the advantages of bottom bouncing during this midsummer time frame. A lot of these fish are scattered. Early in the spring, after the spawn, they'll be they'll be together. But now, as we get into the middle of summer, they scatter out throughout the lake and throughout the main basin. So, one of the advantages of bottom bouncing it allows you to cover a lot of ground and find some of these fish. And that's exactly what we've done here today. We've tried a lot of different techniques, and this is the only one that's really paying off right now mm -hmm. for us. So. That's right, that's right. So, you know, when you get in these summer conditions, you get hot weather, the fish start to scatter, don't be afraid to put the bottom bouncers down to find some of these walleye. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Yakima Bait and Tooth Tamer Rods. All right, so I've hooked up a new crawler on my PK harness here, and on the working end of this, the bottom bouncer itself, this is actually a spin and glow bottom bouncer from Yakima Tackle Company. It's got just this foam little uh, spinner on the top, and what it does is, as this is skipping along the bottom, it gives us a little more buoyancy, a little more vibration, and flash in the water, and hopefully attract some of these fish. Get it in. One of the things I like to do before I drop my rig down is I always put it just down in the water. I watch to make sure everything's running true, it's running straight. Sometimes you can get a little kink in the line or you get something wrapped up and you wanna make sure it's not like that before you put it down. Oh yeah, there's something there. Nice. Yeah, I can feel his head shaking. Similar size fish, I think it looks oh, like. Yeah. Oh yeah, another one that'll eat really well. Same thing on that new PK with the double hook harness. That thing's been pulling fish. It's been producing, hasn't yeah, it? Absolutely. Yeah. Not a real big fish, but perfect size that I know you like to eat. So. My favorite. All right, so we've done a little bit of bottom bouncing now. Great way to put some of these fish in the boat in the midsummer. We've done some bobber fishing. What's next on the list for midsummer walleyes? We're gonna go uh, try trolling some weeds, pulling over some weeds, get a, see if we can get a little bit bigger fish going over there. So we're gonna tie on some crankbaits and absolutely. head to shallower water. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Let's do it, let's, let's give do it. Give it a it. shot. Yakima 2.5. Get it down eight feet is 46 feet back. 46, okay. Uh, you're probably, go 40, because we're, we're Dan, there's weeds coming up a little bit here. Okay. Going there? Yeah. Picked up a little bit here. Nice. 
right? You one said it. There, one stretch, right? <laughs> a couple of head shakes. Let's see if it's the right one. Why? Starting to concern me now. <laughs> Oh, that's oh, nice yeah, that's a nice walleye. That's a nice walleye. I'm going to grab the net for that one. All right. Get up and give you the scoop. How about that? Perfect. Oh, yeah, that's a good fish. Slow us down a little bit. Nice work. There we go. There we go. That's a little better nice fish. fish. You bet. Very nice fish. There we go. That was a good fish. Yeah. All right. Got a decent one to go on the pulling some cranks. Now you said here on Devil's Lake, five fish limit and no minimum or maximum size. No slot. No slot limit. Five first five walleyes that go in the box are yours. So no kidding. Any Fantastic. size. Fantastic. Now, still, I think we've talked about, we like to keep those smaller fish to eat, those 15, 16 inch fish to eat, right? Absolutely. I I personally don't like this 18, 19 inch fish. Um, I, I like the way the 15s fry up. Right, right. Try to keep those as much as possible. Still fun to catch. Absolutely. Love I'd, seeing that board go back. You bet. Another way to catch these midsummer walleyes. Shallow flats, weeded flats. Trolling cranks. Trolling cranks. Awesome. All, All right, right. Let's we'll get another He hit that. There you go. Thumb, didn't yeah. he? Nice fish. That's a good one. Yeah, let's see him Coming across. Actually, he's There's up on a nice the surface already. Yeah, another yeah. nice walleye. Really good fish. Coming right at you there. So get the net here. Oh, like him. There you go. <laughs> Look at that. Boy, almost a cookie cutter, huh? Yeah. Yeah, he's a nice fish. Get that. I think I'm going to take that right out of him right away. He is caught a little bit in that net, but perfect. Now he's caught. Look at that. Another, Another nice eye. Beautiful walleye. I tell Switching you what. it up a little. Yeah, absolutely. You know, just a little different technique instead of throwing cranks or dragging bottom like we were with the bottom bouncers. Yeah, and here we uh, we made a pull through. We didn't, didn't get bit. We sped the boat up a little bit, a little over two miles an hour, and started to get bit. Yeah, now here we go. Perfect. <laughs> I love it. All oh, right. That's awesome. So you want to put this one in a box, or you want to let this guy go? I think we let him go. Okay, sounds good. Yeah. We'll do that. Thanks. All right. There he goes. Good deal. Nice. Great fish. You want to grab that we'll board? All right. Yeah, I'll get that. Well, this one, we just were sitting here talking, and we saw the board go back a bit. So we're hoping we've got something going on here. Oh, yeah. A little bit of weight there? A little oh, bit. That's a... There's a <laughs> eater fish. <laughs> Look at that. On one we can sling right in. That's right. That one will be supper. You know, these fish in Devil's Lake, I've noticed, have a very pronounced black mark right at their top fin here. And, um, you know, most walleyes, you see the white on the tip of the tail and so on. But it's one of the things I've noticed fishing here in Devil's Lake is you get a very pronounced black mark right on that top fin. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Suffix and VMC hooks. I'll get this guy unhooked here. Look at that, still got some of our leech left. So, well, just another great way of putting some of these fish in the box in tough summer conditions.
Yeah, it was, uh, it's been a little bit of a grind here trying to get on these fish in the deep water, but uh, this has been our most effective way by far. Still fun, no doubt about it. Folks, if you're interested in coming to Devil's Lake, please put it on your bucket list. All kinds of great fishing, even if you're in the midsummer, still put fish in the box. And we hope that you'll join us again here next week when we'll bring you more great hunting and fishing action from around the U.S., around Canada, and around the world, right here on Outdoor Bound TV. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Venom Outdoors and Mountain Dew. Good one, too. Oh, did you throw it back? The stick? Yeah. <laughs> Similar stick. It might have been. No, mine's bigger. <laughs> Midsummer on Devil's Lake. Oh, and I've green horned them. Oh, oh, what is going on with us here? We'll return into the water. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Rapala and PK Lures.